Do you want your agent to answer questions and show where this info came from? If we ask, what is an LLM? And once this question is sent into our actual LLM, we will receive the answer as well as some sources that we can see here, for example. So we can actually build this using Apex prompt templates and agent force. First, we have to create a prompt template. This defines how the LLM will answer using real time web results. Please note that before you set up your web retrieval, you have to set it up in data cloud. But once you have it, you can just click on it, scroll down and make sure you select the search text here, the same as you have for the input. Another important thing is to go here in details and make a note of the API name as well as the name of the input question. These two must match exactly what you have in your Apex code. After that, make sure you click on activate so you can use this from Apex. Now let's go to the main part, your Apex class. This class does three things. One, sends a question to the prompt template. Two, gets the LLM's answer. And three, transforms the citations for agent force. So if we take a look at this first method, we can see that this method is actually calling the prompt template using the connect API. Here is where you pass the question using exactly the same input name you defined earlier, in this case, input question. And here you can see where is the API name of the prompt template that we want to call. But this is not the method that agent force is actually calling. That would be here at the bottom. This method is orchestrating everything. It executes the prompt template, transforms the citations, and returns the answer for agent force. So how is it actually transforming the citations? We can take a look at these two helper methods at the top. And as you can see from this code, these two helper methods reformat the citations from the Connect API into what agent force actually expects. Finally, we also set up two classes here. One is called request and one is called response. The request class defines the input, which in this case is just a question, and the response will return both the text and the citation data. These two would be the input and output that you would see from Agent Force. With this whole structure, your Apex code becomes an AI powered backend for Agent Force. Finally, we can now take a look at our Agent Force topic. Once we come here inside the topic, we can take a look at the topic's actions and we already have this Apex execution. When a user asks a question that falls into this topic, this Apex action will be called, which will in turn call the prompt template, which will call the LLM and return a sourced answer in Apex. We can also take a look here at what we saw in the Apex class, which is the input question and the outputs for data and sources. So once we have everything set up, we can ask again, what is an LLM? And this will be connected into our topic, which will in turn call our Apex action and transform everything just the way Agent Force will need it. Once again, here we can see the sources and we can see where they're being referenced exactly. With this solution, your users can finally see where the answers came from. By combining prompt templates, Apex, and Agent Force, you build a trusted AI experience right inside Salesforce, perfect for internal help, compliance, or knowledge support.